My name is Shiden. Sorry, I, there's something going on. Welcome, everyone. My name is Shiden, Chair of CEO Committee on Technical Processing. This is online training on searching LC NACO authority file in OCLC connection. It is jointly sponsored by CEO Committee on Technical Processing, OCLC CJK User Group, and the PCC CJK NACO project. With great pleasure, I would like to introduce our presenter for today's training. The first presenter is Hideyuki Morimoto, Japanese catalog at Columbia University and senior consultant. He reviews and processing CJK authority record prepared at Columbia for NACO. Mr. Morimoto is very active in CJK cataloging field. He served twice as chair of the Committee on Cataloging, Asian and African Material at American Library Association. He also chaired the CEO Committee on Technical Processing in 2002 to 2005 and served as its senior consultant afterwards. The second, the second presenter is Jessalyn Zoom, Cooperative Cataloging Program Specialist at Library of Congress. Jessalyn helped establish the PCC CJK NACO project in 2006 and created CJK NACO authority training manuals. He has been working closely with CJK colleagues in NACO area. Many of CJK catalogers have been participating in several NACO trainings given by Jessalyn and Shu Yung Zhang in the past. Thank you, Jessalyn. Welcome back to join Mr. Muramoto and give us another training today. Okay. Yes. Are you seeing a title yes, screen? Yes, I'm seeing them. Yes. Miss Zoom? Uh, okay. Yes. How about the uh, OCLC? Yes. Okay, okay, all right. Are you seeing uh, an OCLC screen now? Okay, good. So let's start. Right. Uh, the theme of this webinar is this quotation. Search the LC name authority file using an OCLC or the LC database. When searching, determine if the proposed heading already exists either in the form proposed or some variant. This will requ require careful searching of both the proposed heading and cross-references to avoid conflicts and duplicates. This webinar will cover the following topics. How to conduct effective searching on a connection client. How to look for potential conflicts, duplicates, and out of sync headings. NACO normalization, actions to be taken after problem authority records are discovered inside the LC NACO authority file. The following are outside the scope of this webinar. Search techniques on connection browser, Sky River, search techniques of bibliographic records, search techniques of LC SACO authority file, MAC tagging and coding, cataloging rules, Background research beyond LC NACO authority file search associated with authority work, creation and updating process of authority records. Although not specifically covered, some cursory mention might nonetheless be made on some issues listed here. There are some access possibilities to the LC NACO authority file. They include connection client, which is the focus of this webinar, connection browser, Library of Congress authority site, classification web, and other mirror sites such as Sky River, British Library, the Library of Congress Voyager. A comprehensive guide to the index fields and search labels with the LC NACO authority file through connection is this document cited on this, on this slide. If not already, participants may wish to closely study this document after this webinar. On connection client, there are various ways for the same search. For the authority master file, Shift F2 opens an authority search window. Inside the authority search window are a command line through which either a search or a browse command may be entered, and, and labeled lines for specifying search terms. Still for the authority master file, Alt F2 opens an authority browse window through which browsing may be executed. Likewise, for the authority history file, Alt-USH opens an authority history search window. 
Inside the authority history search window are a command line through which either a search or a browse command may be entered and labeled lines for specifying search terms. Also for the authority history file, alt-u-b-h opens an authority history browse window through which browsing may be executed. Let's try some search approaches for the Korean translation of Suma Chun Chen's Shiji, uh, this work. So, shift F2 opens this search. Uh, it's not, it's not connected, it's just... Yeah, it hangs mm -hmm. off after a few minutes, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It went back to the screen, or half I lost something, okay. Okay. So shift F2 and then SKIA and W and this name. This is browsing and you will get this expanded term box. So uh, you type in CG Korea. Korea. And this is what you want. All right, then another way is to do the same is uh, again, uh, uh, shift F5, uh, uh, sh uh, shift F2, and then in the name, uh, name, then uh, these are the. Uh, how come I just. Uh, Sorry, I did something wrong. Uh, and, and. Then uh, these are the uh, Korean translation of Shiji. Let's try Alt F2 for browsing. So, okay. So this is the name, and then the expanded term can be specified right on this screen. So CG Korea with the same result. So uh, now let's move on to the uh, history uh, uh, search function. So Alt U S H. You get this uh, three uh, hits and uh, Alt U B H the same with the same result. All right. On connection client. Uh, sorry, sorry. We will briefly review br basic search and browse commands of the LC Nako 35 through connection client. The first are personal name search browse commands. For instance, for this Tang Dynasty port, some commands possibilities include the caret comma by comma caret, pd colon the caret comma by comma caret. For browsing, scap and colon the comma by 7017.62 or scap and W colon B comma by 701762. For keyword search without scarce space, P and colon B by 701762 or NW colon B by 701762. For LCCN search, after search label LN colon may be entered an LCCN with or without the prefix. For example, for example, ln colon n five zero zero six two zero seven eight or ln colon five zero zero six two zero seven eight. An OCLC authority record number may also be searched by a n colon nine six four seven one. For corporate conference names, an example is this Economic Council section inside the Republic of, Republic of China Embassy in Korea. Some command possibilities include eco. Chine comma rep comma one, which results in something unmanageable, or CD colon chine comma rep comma one with the, the same result. Derived keys 
may also be combined. So CD colon China comma rep comma one and CN colon Korea. For browsing, CN colon China Republic 1949 dash Iguan Korea Jinji Tan Chu or CNW colon China Republic 1949 dash Iguan Korea Jinji Tan Chu. For keyword search, CN colon China Republic 1949 dash Iguan Korea Jinji Tan Chu or NW colon with those uh, same words. LCCN and OCLC authority record number searches are in the same manner as with personal names. For geographic names, an example is this city section inside Busan, Korea. Some command possibilities include equal Yong, comma, Pus, comma, K, or CD colon Yong, comma, Pus, comma, K. For browsing, SCADGG colon Yong, Dogu, Busan, Korea, or SCADNW colon Yong, Dogu, Busan, Korea. For keyword search, GG colon Yongdogu Pusan Korea or NW colon Yongdogu Pusan Korea. Coordinates may also be searched by CM colon. So CM colon E 12923 for the longitude or CM colon N 0350432 for the latitude. LCCN and OCLC authority record number searches are in the same manner as with personal corporate conference names. For uniform titles, an example is Lotus Sutra. Some command possibilities include tri kama su kama sa kama or td colon tri kama su kama sa kama. For browsing, skia ti colon tri pitaka sutra pitaka sa dharma pundarika sutra or skia nw colon tri pitaka sutra pitaka sa dharma pundarika sutra. For keyword search, ti colon tri pitaka sutra pitaka sa dharma pundarika sutra or nw colon with those three uh, with those same words. LCCN and OCLC authority record number searches are in the same manner as with personal corporate conference geographic names. For name title headings, an example is the South Korean law. Some command possibilities include CD colon Kori comma Sao comma carrot and TD colon Che comma Ku comma Ch comma Tu. For browsing, scale and W colon Korea South with expanded terms. Cheju Kuk Che Cha Yu Tosi Tuk Pyo Pop or Skat Ti Colon Cha Ju Kuk Che Cha Yu Tosi Tuk Pyo Pop. For keyword search, NW colon Korea South Cha Ju Kuk Che Cha Yu Tosi Kuk Tuk Pyo Pop or Ti Colon with those title words. LCCN and OCLC authority record number searches are in the same manner as with personal corporate conference geographic names and uniform titles. For superseded versions of authority records, an example is this head of state in the authority history file. Although the current version of the authority record has the date closed with 1989, a superseded version of the authority record had it open without 1989. Some command possibilities include SCAME colon Japan Sovereign 1926 Hirohito or ME colon Japan Sovereign 1926 Hirohito. LCCN and OCLC authority record number searches are in the same manner as with the authority master file. An alternative is, as long as LCCN itself is still in use, a current distributed record in the authority master file may be displayed first, then key, key combination Alt-UHP may be pressed. The bars document mentioned earlier states in one section that a comma in, for example, Skiapi and colon Mozart, comma Wolfgang Amadeus is optional, while in another section that a comma in the same browsing command Skiapi and colon Mozart, comma Wolfgang Amadeus is to be included. For browsing, entering or omitting a comma often leads us to different results. For browsing personal names, enter the first comma. The first comma may appear inside subfield A, between subfields A and C, between subfields A and D, and so on. For example, Skepi and colon Lu comma Shun 1881 1936, Skepi and W colon Lu comma Shun 1881 1936, Skepi and W colon Sushi comma Empress Dowager of China 1835 1908, or Skepi and W colon Boyan Kama, 1920, 2008. Let's look at an example.
Ok. So that. This one. First, including a comma, you comma soon 1881-1956, and this is what we want. How about uh, omitting a comma? So I just omit the comma, and the rest is the same. That leads us to this spot, which we do not want. Right, then. For browsing cover conference geographic names, uniform titles are named title entries with the NW index label omit commas. For example, SCA NW colon Miss Koshik, omitting comma Kabushiki Kaisha. SCA NW colon Shinpo Jumu, omitting comma Kensho no Kagaku Gijutsu. SCA NW colon Fentai Jen Beijing, omitting comma China. SCA NW colon Koza, omitting comma Ingen no Anzen Hoshio to Kokusai Soshiki Hanzai. SCA NW colon Korea South, expanded term Shanghai in, omitting comma Noi, omitting comma Insamgu, etc. Let's try an example. So first I intentionally include oh it doesn't I intentionally include Mr. Marimoto, those there commas, is a little typo there, and Korea. then please watch what is going to That's happen. Okay, you know it happens. Yes. this is just a, a typical work we do every oh, day. Sorry. You go in search, and sometimes you just have a typo and you don't realize, and that's how sometimes you duplicate records are created. I made a typo again, sorry. <laughs> okay, I uh, included, intentionally included uh, commas and uh, we uh, landed on this spot which we do not want. So I'll, I go back to this uh, search and then I am now omitting those commas. And this is what we want. Right. For browsing cover conference geographic names, uniform titles or name title entries with CNGGTI index labels, commas may either be entered or omitted. For browsing LC names history file entries, search both forms. Let's try an example. For Shiji in the history file. First, with the comma, Shiji comma, Empress Dowager of China. Then we have one hit. Let's take a look at that hit. Please pay attention to this time, uh, time uh, stamp. September 18th, 2000. Now uh, let's try the same search without comma. I'm just omitting the comma and the rest the same. Now we get 11 instead of 1 hit. And when you, uh, when you look through those, none of these 11 uh, Include that particular one with the timestamp time stamp from September 2000. So to be a comprehensive, comprehensive in, uh, in search, so we have to do both, uh, both searches do search, and pull the results. You don't necessarily just search in the correct way. And in order to prevent the duplicate records, 
you sometimes need to search a possibly incorrect way that catalogers might enter and created record under, you know, uh, just just from that uh, incorrect searching way. Is that the point that you are trying to make here? You know, actually, uh, the index is I indexing is not uh, not uh, not yes, optimal, that's true, yes. and it is documented in the uh, known problems section of the OCLC documentation. All um, right, then. Mr. Mar I'm sorry, um, Mr. Morimoto, just to let you know that we ha, have ha. the schedule until 4 o'clock. So if our session is running a little later than 3.30, we still have the window. So, uh, <laughs> yes, that's correct. Yeah, but we, ha we have m many, many more slides, as you know. So. Thorough search of the LC name authority file is the foundation of name series authority file. We have briefly reviewed basic search and browse commands of the LC name authority file through connection clients. Now we are moving to the main topic of this webinar, various types of incomplete search. We will examine examples of some incomplete search as well as thorough search techniques. First, NACO normalization. When a new authority record or field is added to the authority file, each heading is compared against the headings already in the file to determine whether the new headings are unique. Prior to comparison, the headings undergo a computer edit designed to eliminate all but the essential characters of the heading. This process is called normalization. The process of normalization removes all, the, all combining Git critics and most punctuation and converts all letters to uppercase and all modified letters to their unmodified uh, equivalents. Suffix delimiters and suffix codes are retained in the normalized form. The only mark of punctuation that is retained during normalization is the first comma in suffix A. Except for C also references, the tags of the fields do not form part of this comparison, but suffix delimiters and codes are included. Certain subfields are eliminated before comparisons, for example, subfield I and subfield W in 4XX and 5XX. For further information on NACO normalization, please see these two documents listed on this slide. An example is this. When uh, there is an uh, authority record, Chong, Chong Dong Kou Mung Hua Chong Chong Gong, with K up with, upper, uh, with uh, uppercase K, you may not propose a separate authority record with K in, in lowercase because K in uppercase and K lowercase K would normalize the same. Incomplete search sometimes leads to conflict, which is prohibited inside the LC NAC authority file. For instance, let's do a search. K and W, see what you're about. With see what you're about, one authority record has 110 see what you're about, and another one, 130 see what you're about. Although tagged differently, those would normalize the same, and this, this is a conflict which is not allowed. And let's try validation on uh, connection client. So this is the authority records with 110, see if I able. So I do a uh, validation, shift F5. And we, we receive this uh, uh, validation error and the validation failed. This is with this uh, copper body name. How about the other one? Uh, uniform title. This is another record, authority record, uh, tagged 130, then it's invaluable. And I, I issue a command, a validation command, shift F5, and we receive this validation error, and uh, it indicates that validation failed. 
So these authority records are in conflict and need are validated on connection clients. So what should we do? Research is needed to solve this conflict, of course, and this is a corporate body name, 110 Sinfa Yuebao, and there is another one, Sinfa Yuebao She, with She at the end. So uh, one, is, one, one thing to be, uh, to be uh, uh, examined is whether Sinfa Yuebao corporate body is a variant of Sinfa Yuebao She. If, it, if 110 Sinfa Yuebao is a variant, then uh, this 110 Sinfa Yuebao, this uh, heading, uh, this uh, name of the record should be cancelled in favor of Sinfa, uh, Sinfa, Sinfa Yuebao She. But if those are two different corporate bodies, Sinfa Yuebao and Sinfa Yuebao She, then another thing, uh, uh, we, we should uh, take a look at the uh, uniform title. This uniform title record says that this is not a series. This is a uniform title, all right, but not a series. And we should re-examine whether it's true or not. If this uniform title, Sinfa Yuebao, is not a series, as this name authority record indicates, then To the end of this 110 Sinfa Yuebao, a uh, qualifier, parenthesis firm, should be added so that the uh, conflict can be avoided. But on the other hand, although this uniform title, the authority record, says this is not a series, if it is a series, it is found to be a series, then uh, at the end of this 130 Sinfa Yuebao, a qualifier, a parenthesis series, should be added to avoid the conflict. After NACO normalization, a C from reference in this one and uh, the established heading of this one would normalize, although here the, uh, the, the placement of BREV is different, but that, that, would, uh, that would not make any difference in normalization uh, process. So let's search this one. So it is summarized here, Yi Chong Yong appearing as 100 and uh, Yi Chong Yong appearing under 400 and those are different authority records. If I validate this, shift F5, this clearly tells that this entry exists in another authority record and uh, validation fails. But the, uh, the problem heading is, uh, the problem uh, entry is this one, 400, and if I validate this, shift F5, it validates, it, it, uh, it goes through validation and validation completed. So, uh, this one, sorry. Mm -hmm. Validation functionality on connection client is useful but not perfect. Then what should we do with this particular case? In this authority record, this one, year of birth and year of death are also uh, are already known and indicated, so the uh, Safu D can be added to the end of this 400 field, but that Safu D may not be added to this 100 because 100 itself is not in conflict, and uh, uh, as long as there is no conflict, 100 should be left intact. Incomplete sometimes stems from different heading or a reference formulation. 
there was a pre-existing record, Korea, Russia, North Korea, Yongsuo, Korea, with cross-reference, Korea, Taihakyo, full stop stuff will be Russia, North Korea, Yongsuo. As long as there is such record, you may not propose a record with the established heading Koryo Tai Hakyo full stop stuff with the Rosia Mufa Yongusso because that would directly conflict with the uh, 410 cross uh, uh, C from reference in uh, the pre existing record. So all headings, all heading and cross references should be searched and keyword search should be tried in some cases. Another example of different heading in formulation is this one. This is a cancelled version of the, uh, the, the name authority record, but when this was the current version uh, some time ago, uh, some, some months ago, a cataloger first thought that Hong Kong Hospital Authority was sub subordinately entered as, and was just on the point of missing this particular uh, name authority record, entered directly under Hospital Authority Hong Kong China. This one. But this uh, pre-existing name authority record was somehow found, and the, so their lesson learned was to, to, to try keyword search. Incomplete search sometimes stems from different romanization. Let's see an example. Right, this one. Number two, Kokuris Kokai Toshokan Japan, Kansai hyphen Kan. And uh, number five, Kokuris Kokai Toshokan Japan, Kansai Kan without hyphen, with no hyphen. And those are not two different, those are the same corporate body, just the romanization is different. One is with hyphen and another one without hyphen. So uh, those cannot coexist, they should not coexist. Different romanization should also be searched from time to time, and truncation wild card may also be tried in some cases. So what should we do? ALA LC romanization tables, Japanese word division 4A, exception 1, instructs us that there are four proper names, including corporate bodies, that contain other proper names follow 3D above. For example, Edoji or one word without any hyphen or space. Kansai is Kansai Kan is a corporate body or a, a proper name, and Kansai itself is also a, a proper name. So Kansai Kan includes an, another uh, proper name, which is Kansai. So uh, according to this instruction, you know, the romanization instruction, Kansai Kan should be one word without any hyphen or, or space. So that means that this this should be cancelled in favor of this one. But that is not the end of it. When updating a pre-existing heading, all affected name authority records should thoroughly be searched and adjusted accordingly. So as long as this is cancelled, this and this, these should be cancelled too. So th in the case of three, Jigyobu, Kansai Kan Jigyobu, this should be cancelled in favor of eight also Jigyobu. And in, in the case of number four, Toshokan Kyoryoka, this should be cancelled in favor of number nine. Incomplete search also relates to direct indirect subheadings. Different headings of sub subordinate entities should also be searched. Let's look at an example.
。ナンバー2。大阪市立大学、サフビー、大学院サフビー、都市文化研究センター。ナンバー4。大阪市立大学、都市文化研究センター。The difference between number 2 and number 4 is the intervening element, the 大学院。And as such, number 2 and number 4 are not a different forms, but these cannot coexist. So we have to take a look at those records. The third 667 says、uh, cannot identify with Osaka City Sagak COE Toshi Bunka Kenkyu Center, which is、uh, yet another corporate body, number one. So that's fine. But it doesn't say anything about the、uh, The problem one, number four. Number two and number four are causing problems. So let's look, take a look at number four. There is a, a cross reference from Gunga Kenkyuka as an intervening element. So we have to、uh, examine what, what, what is this, Gunga Kenkyuka. So. According to this record, Bunga Kenkyuka is under Dai Gakuin. Osaka Shiris Dai Gak. Bunga Kenkyuka is under Osaka Shiris Dai Gak. Dai Gakuin. Therefore, The first one is no, no longer there.、So. This and this are really conflicting. And this should be cancelled in, in favor of this number four. Number two should be cancelled in favor of number four. Incomplete search sometimes relates to the same ongoing conferences. Let's look at this example. The same conference, Josei Ni Taisuru Boryok Ni Kansuru Symposium 2003. Tokyo, Japan. Another one is 2004, Tokyo, Japan. That, the one for, the, for 2000 is coded ASCR2, and another one for 2004 is also coded ASCR2. As long as coded ASCR2, these two for the same conference may not coexist in the LCNAME authority file. Of course, if both were coded RDA instead of ASCR2, these should coexist. Okay. Incomplete search often stems from careless checking of works cat cited in pre existing authority records. When this Xin、uh, Long undifferentiated name authority record was already there, a proposal was made. Separately from, from this, and with 1939 added as, as a date without doing anything to Qin Long. I should have done a history search.
This is the box. So this was a differentiated man rather than undifferentiated. Oh, okay, right. This one, what? This is not all that. This one. Uh, how about this one? Uh, Mr. Morimoto, you can come back and oh. uh, talk about uh, the slide that you have, and then yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, bibliographic record corresponding to work cats should be searched in some cases to see Chinese characters for the name and the field of activity from field six x x and zero five zero and zero nine zero. We are now skipping these two these slides. These two examples are similar examples as the first one, Qianlong. Um, so you can take a look at it after the session when, yeah, when the material is ready. Okay. Yes. Let's move on to this one. This is an example of undifferentiated personal name. Ah, uh, this is the one. I I was I uh, I I got confused. I'm sorry. This is the one uh, uh, undifferentiated name also the example. So show you, which was uh, undifferentiated, and uh, a proposal was to establish a separate name authority record. Soon show you, with a date 1955 onwards. But the problem was that that person was already subsumed under this undif uh, undifferentiated name authority record. So uh, uh, creating a separate authority record is fine, but at the same time, I, the cataloger had to do uh, something more. When information is found to distinguish a person included on an undifferentiated name record, always create a new name authority record for that person. Delete information pertaining to that person from the undifferentiated name record. Add a 667 note on the new record to identify the LCCN of the authority record on which information about that person has been recorded. Also, other notes than 670s in pre existing authority records should carefully be examined. Let's take a look at this one. At one point in time, this is now a superseded version of the record, but at one point in time, this was at the other current version. And when it was the case, 667 note was already here. The, uh, the particular, the third one, is in question. It, it read already that cannot determine which birth year is accurate retained in 1928 based on reference sources in author's language and country. Change date if other information is found to be more accurate. And when we look at some of 670s, indeed, this one had B1931. This one had 1928. This one had 1931. 
and this one had 1928. As long as this is, this was the case, and as long as the the uh, the one in hand was for this the same art critic, no separate author records with 1931 instead. This one has 1928, but no. No separate record with 1931 ought to have been created, but it was created and later on it was cancelled. So the lesson is that you should take a look at 667 also, in addition to 670 notes. All right, we have two uh, exercise questions, and I think we, we have time. The first exercise question. A treaty between China and Japan concluded on 17 April 1895. It's proposed for establishment as follows. 110, one blank, China, full stop, suffrage T, treaties, comma, etc. ETC, full stop, suffrage G, Japan, comma, suffrage D, 1895, APR, full stop, 17. 410, one blank, Japan, full stop, suffrage T, treaties, comma, ETC, full stop, suffrage G, China, comma, suffrage D, Mr. 1895, Mr. Moore, APR, full stop, 17. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Blank, zero, um, Maguan, you can zero. let the participant yes. look at this record and save your voice yeah. and not read the cross references. <laughs> I think that would be easier for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, so you, you, uh, you can take a look at these proposed uh, proposed uh, entries. Then the question is: May this proposed authority record be sent anew to the ALC in Code 35? Why? Explain the search process and discuss the results. I I give you one minute to uh, work on this. If you have access to the LC NACO 35 through connection or some other means, uh, you may wish to try. If you do not have access to uh, the LC NACO 35 at this moment, you just uh, think about the process and uh, we will discuss the, uh, the, the process in one minute. What's the hint here, Mr. Maravato? If some, what's the hint here? Uh, if somebody is uh, considering to establish the heading under the treaty. <laughs> careful search. Yes, yeah, hint is uh, careful right. search. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, it's not that complicated. You just uh, you just do a careful search. That's it, I guess. Yes, we can start. Is it one minute already? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So uh, why don't we do the, this uh, together? So uh, far, uh, one possibility is uh, uh, so our uh, city, China. No. Three. Okay. So there is one, but it's not exactly the same. So that was the. Uh, that was the intention. This is coded ASCR2, but it is uh, April is spelled out. It is not coded RDA, but uh, somehow April is spelled out and April is spelled out. And um, punctuation is wrong. This full stop here is wrong. But 
and uh, uh, yeah, another hint may hint or not, I don't know. But another thing is that it does not. This is not completely right, but it does not constitute a ground for establishment of a separate uh, name of the records. This is not exactly the same as w what I showed to you, the proposal, but uh, obviously for the same treaty. So uh, this. This name authority record cannot be sent annual to the uh, name of the uh, name authority file. All right. The second exercise question: A Korean personal name is proposed for establishment as follows. So I'm not going to r read this, but please read carefully. Uh, all uh, 100, 400, 60, 67, okay, but 670s. The question is the same. May this proposed author record be sent anew to the FCNA author file? Why? Explain a search process and discuss the results. You have one minute from now. This is a comment to the audience. If uh, you have uh, any questions regarding this record in terms of how to get started, say you are, you know, you, you are looking at this record and you want to thoroughly examine this record and want to make sure to not to create a conflict, what do you do? If you have any of those questions, um, send them in. We can see them right away. Let's take advantage of this uh, interactive tool. Okay, let's do this together. Right? Okay. So it's not there, but so we learned a lesson before, so let's try a keyword search. Right. Sajdan E. It is uh, formulated differently, and but dates are the same. And one of the six six seventies said, "Neighbor W W Rabbit said, said uh, author of Taigyo Singi, and Taigyo Singi is um, is the is the work cat uh, cited here." So uh, unless there is an evidence that those two are different people, uh, we should conclude that these are for the same author, and this this one cannot be sent anew to the LCNAC authority file. All right. Then uh, Ms. Zoom provided us with a checklist of things to do when con conducting searching. So this is a review, in a sense. I ju we just go over this. Careful searching of both proposed heading and cross references to avoid conflicts and duplicates. Consider NACO normalization. Thoroughly understand the rules of word division of the language of the item. Search under different normalization and possible different spelling of the name. Search under different forms of headings and references. Search in different indexes of the heading possibly entered. When establishing corporate name entered subordinately, such under the established form of the parent body. Such under the entire hierarchy as well as the name omitting intervening body when the name is a subordinate of one or more hierarchy. When necessary, search the title cited in the 670 field of the existing NAR to determine the relationship of the name in hand and the one in the database. When in doubt, establish a new authority record. Use 667 field note, when appropriate, to differentiate the new name and the established name. For example, not same as or cannot identify with. Such cross references as well to avoid a C reference in conflict with an authorized heading. I I already uh, distributed the the link to this selected bibliography. The, uh, the listed items are, are the same, so I'm not going to go over this. So it's not moving. Okay. Right. 
Ms. Deng suggested that uh, we may wish to do some uh, some discussion on other such strategies, but we are now on close to the en ending time, so I just mentioned the first point, which uh, some of you may be already using. Control Shift G, uh, Control Alt Shift G, and it's not working. Right? Then uh, you will get this macro window, and under OCLC macro book is a uh, br uh, browse authority index. This may be uh, executed, and of course, if you are using this very often, you may wish to assign a keystroke to this macro for uh, for ready execution. There were some questions uh, already posed through the, uh, the pre-session survey forms. So, uh, but we discovered that none of these questions pertain uh, particularly to the to searching of the uh, SNM authority uh, uh, SNM authority files. So, I, I very briefly, or uh, I, I quickly go over this and with very brief answers. The, the first question. May a birth date be added to a pre-existing personal name authority record lacking such information? In, pre, in a pre-existing name authority record lacking date of birth of, present, of a represented person, the birth date may be added under, if it's an ASC or to LCR record, field 670. If it's an RDA LCPS record, field 046 F, 670 and or 678. The birth date may not be added to a pre-existing heading unless there is a conflict to resolve. If pre-existing name of the record lacking date of, the, of birth is coded undifferentiated, separate name of the record may be created unless it would cause conflict with another pre-existing name of the record. Please see LCR 22.17 changes to existing headings already coded for ACR 2 paragraph 2 frequently asked questions on creating personal name author records NARS for NACO number 4 and PCC POST RDA test guidelines. Question 2. Name author records prepared proposed for following uh, proposed, uh, pre prepared and processed following RDA LCPS provisions. A cursory mention was already made in connection with the same ongoing conference, a treaty, and additional dates to personal name of 30 records. Please see RDA of 30 records, PCC post RDA test guidelines, and there are some examples in the file named RDA test record downloads extra set of 30 records. No, not just a moment. Hmm? It doesn't switch to my uh, browser. What happens? That's okay. This is the, uh, the second question uh, Mr. Marimoto uh, okay. has prepared to show you. Um, although we may not be able to, uh, we'll see if we're lucky or not. If we don't get back to the um, to the application to show you in connection, um, just so you know, uh, there is answer provided uh, in this PowerPoint. And as we might have, I, I, I don't remember if we have mentioned this uh, before about the training material, the presentation material that we we're using today. It will be made available later on, as well please, as yeah, the yeah, 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 please move on. To is this the screen that uh, you are going to show? Uh, that's okay. You know, this is a lot of uh, juggling back and forth and in between the screens. Yeah, so let's move on to a Okay. Is, um, is this the last uh, screen that uh, you are showing, Mr. Marimoto? Or you are trying to get to the, um, the other application? As you can see, technology not always works to okay, our Okay, so our uh, advantage. other questions. <laughs> no, no, no. This, 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 no, this. Okay. Yeah, these. There were three other questions and answers are on another. Okay. 
Right. No, this is already done. No, this this is already done. This and is the, um, right, right. This, this is, is already the, done. The, yeah, the answer as you see, it's already provided here. So instead of showing the actual, I already talked about this question and answer, and there are additional questions and answers are on another side, but that's, uh, that's uh, all somehow right. that side got frozen and I cannot go there. So I'll okay. just move on to uh, yeah. Uh, let's the move other, on the to. The next uh, feedback question. Feedback so we do, right? There we do want to hear questions. from you. The first you. one is that with two cho choices. Okay. Now, for all of you that are already familiar with the Illuminate features, you see that I have changed the check mark, green check mark, to ABC. So, give us the choices. And so uh, I A is the session was helpful. B the session was not helpful. Please click the button in the participant window corresponding to your response. Sounds good. Are you getting Are you getting access? Uh, yes, I'm getting access. Yes, I have seen responses. Yes. So uh, the, uh, the, the, the the next figure. The next uh, polling question is uh, with these three options. The three options is one or A. I have already been performing uh, as uh, presented the content here, and B is there has been something new to me. Uh, Are you getting I responses? I am getting responses. Excellent. Miss yes, Hume? I Are am you getting, getting responses? responses. As a matter of fact, let's let's spend just one minute and see the uh, this new tool that can provide us to help publish the statistics to the white whiteboard, and see what we get about our responses. Do you all see this? Isn't this cool? You see the A, B, Next and week. C. These are the re ratings. This is great. This will really uh, this will be really helpful. Uh, for us to uh, make changes, to update, and to improve this session. This concludes this webinar session, and Miss uh, Dan will uh, will say something. Miss Dan, please. Thank you for okay. um, Moromotsa and uh, Jessalyn for the presentation. Um, I know they spent so much time um, preparing and um, not only prepared the content of the presentation, also learning this new uh, webinar uh, product. And although we experienced some uh, tech, uh, technology difficulty, but I think this is really wonderful uh, webinar. I hope you all uh, learn something and then to go back to our practice. If you, uh, if uh, let's give them a, a round of applause. If you click on that hand passing uh, on your uh, screen, and um, thank them for uh, prepare this presentation for us. And I also want to thank you to you all uh, joining us today. I will send out a follow-up uh, survey uh, for you to give us some feedbacks and uh, any suggestions. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, Mr. Morimoto and uh, Shi, uh, please you may turn on the uh, microphone. We still have a couple of minutes to speak here. Um, you can see the polling here. It's it's quite uh, helpful. I think uh, it shows that uh, where we are, what you know, how we can uh, you know do it next round. Is that is that correct? Um, Shi, are you there? Okay. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was saying that this uh, polling is very uh, helpful um, to us um, yes. for the for the future planning. Look at um, you know the B is in a big margin and the red is in a relatively good margin. And I think uh, the technical part is something that you know that's something we certainly can do better next time. 
-hmm. And also maybe the training material, I'm thinking um, maybe not this impact. Um, uh, uh, you know, I think most of them are here. Uh, can I say one more thing? Go ahead. Okay. Um, for those of you who are still here, um, we feel sorry. I mean, Ms. at least Miss Marimoto and I feel sorry that we're rushing through the material. But I do want to say these examples are carefully were carefully selected, and so when the presentation uh, is made available. Uh, we hope you will make good use of these examples and the, the you know the, the the points that we have put together. For example, the checklist. The checklist points include all the uh, include the points that we have. Um, uh, we have uh, covered from all the examples during, throughout the presentation. So I just want to uh, mention something about that training material. That's all. Thank you.